Greetings, Guardians. My name is Bifear. You've seen one of these before. This is one of Datto's infamous vault cleanings, and I feel like he exposed what is a terrifying flaw with my entire mentality around keeping guns, and, um, my crippling addiction to masterworking things was very evident from the beginning, but he helped me clean out some of the stuff. He gave me a little bit of homework and things to go ahead and fix just before Witch Queen. If you've never heard of Datto, then uh, what, what are you doing? This is de How have you not heard of Datto? Anyway, point is, go ahead, check out his stuff, subscribe, he is the best place to find all of your serious, introspective Destiny content regarding the state of the game and PvE, and he is kind of Mr. Destiny, if you somehow didn't know him. Uh, yeah, go ahead and check him out, thank you so much to Datto for helping clean my vault with me, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video and my crippling addiction to Masterworks, and keeping the occasional piece of white gear? Yeah, this is a strange ride, but hold up for it. Okay, so, uh, I think it's it's very much worth prefacing, like, um... Some good fashion. Oh, thank you. I, uh, Some good warlock fashion. I am glad, I appreciate. Like, there, there are many great drips out there, and I'm glad that mine is considered one of them. Yeah, I really, um, like, I really like that setup. Yeah. I, I tend to try and do the whole scholarly vibe where I can, but I've always been solo warlock for literally since the like last eight years of Destiny. So, yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. It makes some good sense. Thanks, man. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open the vault and I'm gonna tell you what there are too many of. Okay. Um, but I think you'll be able to see pretty quickly if I just scroll through. Okay. There's one thing in common, uh, and. I feel like I've got a very different kind of problem okay. from most other people, which is uh, these th these gold boxes. Mm -hmm. um, I have an addiction to masterworking items, and it's a it, it, it it's a debilitating problem. Even if you're not you're using the item at all. Oh yeah, you're using... low. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm very low on. Here's the other thing as well. I would have had. I I made like. The like off the paper calculation because it takes like 17 enhancement cores to obviously like masterwork an item but i i sat there and i didn't want to think about how many legendary shards i didn't have because of all my masterworks yeah because like i mean even if i look through things the only reason these aren't masterworked is because i literally just got these while casually farming stuff today so and, like you, everything else is you just yeah. masterwork anything that comes into your inventory that you think is like remotely maybe worth considering using like not everything but like i sit there and i'm one of those guys where i i have that situation of like worst case scenario hey like you sit there and you're like okay well hand cannon like anti-barrier isn't this season but like Maybe in three seasons' time, like, these will be useful, or, like, that thing over there will be useful. Like, you know, it, it's right. hard to judge and gauge. But what what makes you want to spend the cores now? Like, why not just spend them later? Because the thing is shiny, and if it's shiny, I know not to delete it. But you can this also just, but you can just lock it. This is the debilitating problem, though, because if it's not got the shiny border, I'm like, why the hell did I keep that? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I wanted to keep that in case it was, like, anti-barrier hand cannon. I still hold out hope. But, like, you know, the, the little things here that uh, ultimately make me hold on to it are part of the part of the problem that I've come to accept. And I, I will sit there and I will simply say that it was worse before. Because, okay. yeah, there, there have been points where I've fallen to, like, zero enhancement calls. Let's, okay. For, first of all, I, I, I need you to put a, a primary and a special weapon into the vault so that I can actually see these, uh, these, see these guns are. properly, because they're all kind of grayed out. Yeah, there you go. All right. There we go. Okay, so the, the main thing I'd like to start with is dupes. So anything you have like a lot of dupes of, I'd say like three or more, that's usually the thing that I like to start with because most of the time that four can come, to, come down to two, that three can come down to two or one, um, that five can come down to three or two. So let's, um, I saw you had a lot of vouch safes. Yeah, bottom, mm, yeah, yeah you, have, you have five of them and you also have one in your inventory, or I think you'd put that one in your, in your inventory into uh, here. 
Yes. Yeah, you put okay. So let's go with those vouch saves. Vouch save is a very, very specific gun because there's just not a lot of void scouts out there, so it's pretty easy to kind of like pick out which ones. Um, I see you have a lot of rabbit hit, rabbit hit, wellspring, explosive, outlaw dragonfly. What's that very last one? Killing wind Killing wellspring. Okay. Wellspring. First of all, I would get rid of that one basically immediately. You have to tell me why you're keeping this one for for me to yeah. say you should keep so it. So this is the one from the inventory, which is the one I just got. Okay. And that the only reason I had that this one before, I think, is because of Wellspring. Okay. Are it's you a the, big the, Wellspring uh, guy? Uh, I'm a big Wellspring guy uh, on account of the fact that my, like, main... Like, I, I run Middle Tree Solar Warlock all the time, and so having that ability uptime is very important. Okay. But, like, Wellspring and Surplus are two perks that I absolutely adore together, or just independently, because consistently having all three abilities charged on surplus is ridiculous and mm -hmm. yeah wellspring helps you do that but you know there's also things like nezarex which on void builds i'll end up using and wellspring is like the perfect synergy for that okay so th this will be the most frustrating thing too is the is the like i have a i have that stupid mentality of like i have a build for that in mind that right. either i've already made or is like you know, oh, it does void damage and has thresh, therefore Nezarex, therefore keep. You know, like. But but how I often shouldn't do? Yeah, but how often are you using that build? Like solo shattered throne runs for the most part. So, solo dungeons. How how often are you running solo dungeons? I'd say okay. So I've actually been really good about it late in the season. I've been doing two dungeon solos almost every week, except for the weeks where I was away for Thanksgiving. And so why I've been, pretty, I've been pretty good about that. And why are you doing them? Just because you want uh, to? Partly because of a mastery thing. Like I feel as though in PvE players, I'm I'm doing good, but I'm certainly not excellent. I'm not at like the tier where I would consider myself capable of doing solo GMs or anything. So it's partly a mastery thing, and then it's also partly uh, my obsession with getting like the perfect rolled things. Like there were twenty vouch safes that I got specifically in case anti-barrier, scout rifle, and void was needed. Yeah. And then I finally managed to get the rapid hit Vorpal one. Okay. So, like, things like that are uh, shattered thrown. The next big one to form for me is Prophecy. So it's like, you know, when I'm done with one, it's on to the next. It's okay. like that well, flexibility. If you're a Wellspring guy, then all of those scouts are going to be good. I would have to ask, you know, if you're using a scout in a GM for anti-barrier scout... Like, what's the one that you'd be bringing with you? Uh, oh. Like, which one would you bring? Because, like, the Vorpal one I understand, because Vorpal is is strong on primaries. Yeah. And, uh... This bad boy. So, so you wouldn't even bring any of the vouchsafes unless you needed specifically Void. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a mix of things, but, like, it's, it's the knowledge that, you know, uh you take them as a pairing right so with this one mm -hmm. specifically it's all about like hey you know you pair the kinetic scout with the truth teller and all that nonsense and disruption break and all that good stuff right now grant like that's the build i tend to commonly use if i'm doing something it's all about like a blinding grenade launcher which is i i preach from the gospel of blinding grenades mm -hmm. uh, and then whatever like primary is in that season so it's kind of like it's kind of like sticking around that mentality. Like, I love the Season of the Splicer where they actually had a mod that let them do anything to champions was my favorite time. Mm -hmm. Granted, Breach and Clear was also there and that was ridiculous, but I mean, yeah. Like, mentality-wise, it's really hard to get me to drop a blinding GL. Okay. And so everything else is about, like, keeping those in mind. Okay. Um. Let, okay, so... I'm trying to think of how to progress here. Um, maybe, maybe vouch safe's not a good one to start with just because it's a really specific case. Let's, uh, let's take a look at these, uh, these hung cherries down here. Let's, let's stick with the scout rifle mm -hmm. situation. All right. Heating up fire flakes. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Next one. And okay. So we have four of these. Um, I'm assuming you're keeping the hung, the, the firefly one because it's firefly. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like, it's the quote-unquote generic ad clear one, but... Right. So why do we have the moving target box breathing one? Like, there was all the talk about how it was like the PvP role, if you can get the three tap, and I'm realizing now that this is 
this is a slight problem because of the fact that I'm almost never going to use this in PvP. Correct. Which, so, what mm. should we do about that? If I'm going to go ahead and... If you're never going to use it and you need cores... I'm going to... Yeah, no, I'm going to go ahead and accept the fact that that's totally not worth it. This is the other thing as well, like... I'm okay at PvP, oh. but I'm certainly not. Uh, I'm not your ass to cross. I, I'm not Fallout. I'm, You're not, not cool using guy. Hung Jerry with box breathing to try to prove a point, guy. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. I was. In, I don't like. Uh, I don't, that doesn't feel like your your floor of the department building. No, not really. Yeah. I, okay. I don't know. Um. Okay, we have a lot of servant leaders, and I know servant leader comes from Gambit. It's a kind of a pain in the ass to get. Um, but you seem to have one that you already really like. So why are we keeping some of these other ones? I think it's that rarity of the role. Like, mm. I've not even masterworked this one, but it's just, you sit there and you're like, ah, oh, but I got one with rapid hit and adrenaline chunky. And yeah. Damn it, those are actually good. Like, That's an understandable mm. one to keep. Mm. Um, but like the, the, what, what was, yeah, the Killing Wind Snapshot. That one's, that one's a, a keeper? Uh, predominantly on the PvP side of things. Like, okay. uh, I, again, similar arguments can apply. Uh, really like Snapshot on this because it's very, like, the, the whole thing is just really slow with its handling. Okay. And so that actually fixes it. But it is, it is kind of tough. Oh, man. It's the other thing, too. I never know what to delete on the PvP side of things because it's like, mm -hmm. am I the guy who's ever going to just stop running whatever thing is meta that season plus hand cannon, maybe plus shotgun yeah like am i that guy who's gonna step out of that and okay sometimes i think i am and sometimes i don't what about the heating up rampage one uh two perks that go together okay um alongside each other but having said that you do make a fair point with regards to like the fact that if i've got a heating up rampage one that's great but like you know, if I'm always going to be using Surplus and Frenzy, and if Frenzy is probably, like, better for in-game, better for GMs, better for solos, that kind of thing, like, mm -hmm. is Rampage really necessary? Right. Yeah, I, I do like Frenzy a little bit more than Rampage in GMs, just because it's always up and chaining kills uh, to get Rampage fully stacked up is a little bit tougher on average. Um but I, I will leave it up to you. Maybe this is like a, you know, let me try this one out in GM's kind of situation. But yeah, if you already have one that you like, then one, then a god roll in the vault is still just a gun in your vault taking up space. If it's not getting use, it's just taking up space. Hmm. And if you don't think it's going to get use, then it's really taking up space. So I, yeah. I will leave that up to you because, I, again, I know Servant Leader is an annoying gun to farm. Um, especially considering how many perk rolls it can get. So I'll leave that one up to you. Um, I think, I think I'm going to hold on to it for the moment. Maybe I will delete it later, but, okay. uh, I'm going to hold on to it because I'm sure there's going to be someone in the comments section who's going to be furious at the idea that right. I'm deleting a server. Don't, rampage. don't let the comment section dictate what you keep. You know what I do? Here's what I do secretly. I'm going to let you in a little secret. Whenever I get God rolls on stream... I'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll just I'll hold on to that one. And then as soon as the stream's over, I delete it. And guess what? <sighs> Nobody remembers. Not a single person. <laughs> They've never remembered. They're so dumb. They're just so dumb. So it, it don't let them drive fear into your decision making. Mm. You know what? And on that note, we're going to be brave. We're going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Billy. I know you wanted it. It's gone. Yeah. It's gone forever. Good it's move. Gone. Good. This and that something like that also it's like ah oh, it's a pretty good roll on a rare gun it's like if you're willing to delete that then like what else w are you gonna be willing to delete you know what I mean like oh, anything fuck. less than that like should be an easy move right like you, it's like it's like becoming like a hitman like the first kill is always so tough but eventually it's just like oh oh god shot another guy right this has become very dark all Sorry. of a sudden I don't know if <laughs> well I you get that. what I'm trying to say. <laughs> No, no, no. I only fear for the contents of my okay. vault now. Like, <laughs> um, Let's take a look at these shepherds, shepherds watches here. Um, yes. Tunnel vision opening, tunnel vision snap, and what's that middle uh, one here? 
Lead from Gold Frenzy. Okay. And I think you have another one in your inventory as well. Uh, let me double check. I think like that was, uh, no, that was the one I transferred over was the tunnel oh, vision okay, snap okay. here. I think. So we have a tunnel vision snap and a tunnel vision opening shot. Um, one of these has got to go. This is very much true. Um, I feel like the, uh, I don't know about you, but the preference is irritating because if I could get opening snap on it, like I'd, I'd choose opening snap in a moment. Status, right. But tunnel vision being the other perk is yeah yeah it's it's, it's not it's not ideal uh me personally i cannot live without snapshot on a sniper um but i i don't know what you prefer i don't know your sniper kind of play style um if i'm if i'm making a call i'm taking the snapshot one just because i really like snapshot personally uh but i know opening shot is still also uh, not a terrible idea so i leave that one up to you in terms of which one you delete but i do think one of these can go yeah i think i think you're correct on that call i think it's the opening okay uh, it's the opening shot this do you go. Like, do you have a sniper in pvp that you really enjoy using already that's a very good question because I, I like to I like to see like what people are using already. Because like some people have been like, yeah, I like using this one uh, for PvP. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so all of the other PvP snipers that you have, why do you have them? That's actually a really good question. Um, some of it's realistically just experimentation because it's mm -hmm. the like one of each archetype, right? Uh, this frozen orbit has been absolutely fantastic with okay. the snap and moving target, but yep. then it yeah, it does make me question why I'm keeping uh let's find a good example. So like, yeah, my Praetiths, which yeah. I think I keep because like that's quite a nice role. Like I don't think Praetiths rolls with snap, but like opening moving is I'd have to check. Pretty Yeah. Let me see here. Pull up Gunsmith while I'm at this. Uh, Praetis Revenge do, 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 do. uh it does not come with snapshot, no. Mm. Yeah, so that is, is that is definitely one of the better roles that you can get for for PvP for sure. Uh, and I understand like wanting to keep one sniper in the kinetic slot and one sniper in the special slot. I don't think anything's wrong with that um, because it entirely depends on what primary you want to be using. So that's fine. Um, I'm also not like a huge stickler for like I need a 72 RPM, I need a 140 RPM, I need a 90 RPM in every single slot. Like I'm I'm not that kind of guy personally. Um, but I, I think that's another place where players can start filtering down um, what kind of weapons they keep in their vault is like, I already have a sniper that I really like using in PvP. Why do I have all these other ones? You know what I mean? Mm. Like this succession. Uh, you don't have a masterwork yeah. on this one. How, how, mm. how, how, this is a one. This is a one on the masterwork. So yeah, how much have you used drop. this? Not even slightly. This You've is, never uh, this used one it. Of those ones of like, I think I'll keep it and just see if I need to use this or it comes up in PvP. But like, mm -hmm. really, it's, uh, like I could probably get rid between this, the Praetor's Revenge, and the Shepherd's Watch. Like, yeah, you you have one of each go. archetype. Now I will say, like, I'm I used to run 140s a lot. I think I'm running like 90s now. I think I run like an adored um, sniper most of the time, and then my primary slot. Oh, yeah. I think I run Eye of Soul. Um, so I'm not like a huge 140 guy anymore. I used to be when they could two tap, but now, now they can't. So I'm, I'm running nineties right now. Um, mm. so, so it's, it's really up to preference in terms of like, do you like running 72s? Do you like running nineties? Do you like running one forties? Um, it just, it just kind of depends on which one you like using the most and then filtering so, down from there. Yeah. Take here for me, I think is that I love the idea that I can use one forties but I'm actually not that great at doing it. So it's just a pipe dream. Okay. I feel I, it's realistically about, do I continue to chase the pipe dream? Maybe the better question is, am I chasing it right now? Am I actually using them in the answer? So that's kind of no. Okay. So maybe this is just a straight up delete. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do it. And like, I get it. It's like, oh, it's a raid gun. It's kind of rare and, and all that kind of stuff. But if you're not using it, why do we need to have it stay around? You know what I mean? Yeah. I, like same question on that front with the supremacy as well, mm -hmm. which is back on the other page, which I noticed. Um, yeah, like there are some others that I'm keeping, which are like the obvious one. I mean, like the rapid hit triple tap makes. Yeah, that PvE. that that I understand. Yeah, yeah, like Volpol is like a I don't know a thing for damage on snipers when it comes to champs, things like that. Like, yeah, sure, maybe that makes some sense. It'd be mm -hmm. nicer if that had field prep, but like 
probably should get rid of Sprimsy. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. All right. Just make sure. Yeah. There and like, are also we don't have, things. We don't yeah. have to go through every yeah. single one right now, but it's just something to be like, all right, you know, let me let me take this philosophy, let me take this idea, and like let me start filtering through all of my guns and and seeing what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. This is um, how we learn to be hitmen. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You, you have three. Okay, hang on. We got to go back to these sidearms on the top row here. Um, oh, you have spoiler three alerts. spoiler alerts, um, all of which are masterworked, have 58 kills between all three of them. <laughs> why, <laughs> why are we keeping <laughs> so many of these? Um... I, I feel okay. So, like, I feel as though this this middle one that actually has kills is because of um like one instance where I was trying an osmosis build and I was like, ah, eh, this is okay. Um, like you know, like I could use this for like hard solo content maybe when I need mm -hmm. a good close quarters one. Uh, the frenzy one is similar reasons. Uh, because frenzy is a really nice perk for champs and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. and again, if it's I don't know sidearm anti barrier, um, like that's gonna be real nice. Uh, demo I probably shouldn't keep, um, which kills me a little bit because it's like it's, it's an okay role for abilities and whatnot. But like I should probably get rid of that. Mm -hmm. I'm really like I I understand like the thought process behind it, but ultimately it's like are you are you actively using it in a build, or does like a, a super hyper specific situation need to come up in order for you to use it? And if that situation does come up. Could you just maybe do something else? Right. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, no, that's, that, uh, that's not one to keep. Um, mm, dismantle. Yeah. Dismantle, not infuse. And guess why, what? Why You're going to forget infused? that you even had that gun. Give it a week. Yeah. You'll never remember. I mean, you might remember because I'm pointing this one out specifically, but all the other ones that you've deleted, you won't remember. I'm going to remember that first, um, Oh God, the the first servant leader that you made me kill, and I'm gonna I'm gonna what was specifically the always what were the perks on it? Uh, heating up rampage. Okay, okay, okay. That was a test. That was a test. That was a test. You pass. You or always you? remember your first kill. <laughs> God, oh, are you sure you're not a hitman? All right. Um, all right. So we got a lot of duplicates here. Uh, a place that I do like to start is with um, sunset weapons. Sunset weapons to me need extra justification to keep because, especially PVE ones, because they are not usable in PVE whatsoever. Um, mm. So, like, that last perdition, that's that's retired. When was the last time you busted this thing out? Uh, you know, this was probably the... Um... This is probably just like in the off season of PvP back in uh season of what was the one after season of dawn? Uh season of the worthy. Yeah. It was probably the last time I used this. So over a year since you've used it. And yeah, it kills me a little bit because like uh, Outlaw Rampage, nice. Like all of this is stuff I'd absolutely love on this particular archetype of pulse. But like Messenger exists and mm -hmm. that, yeah. And you uh, haven't touched yeah. it in over a year, and you can't even mm -hmm. use it in PvE. And if if it means something to you, I would get it. But you have thirty eight kills on it. I can't imagine it's the most meaningful, unless like an out of game thing happened. This was the gun that my wife saw when I put the shader on it, and she was like, "That's pretty. You should keep it." No, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's, like we need like you need good justification, and like those those season eight weapons over there on the on the right side, like yeah. Adhortative or adhortative and optative. Um, again, like good <laughs> rolls, but uh, what, this has zero kills on it. You got it in season eight and it has zero kills. Indeed. See, this one I, I keep very much out of lore reasons. That sounds a little silly, but like it's another variation of the Stranger's Rifle, which, you know, there's, whenever one of these pops up, I try and keep it around if it's not in collections. So, like, this, this That's has fine. a lore reason for you have You have given me a good justification. You want to keep mm. it? That's fine. Are you going to give me a and good this, justification for this one? <laughs> this one I'm keeping out of spite. <laughs> All right, that is not That's how a, we uh... clean vaults. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I was trying to farm for a better, like, 180 version of hand cannons for the longest time. And then I think uh, in Season 8 they were doing, like, okay-ish. 
and I was sure they were going to buff them like two seasons later and they never did. And so I've kept this out of spite, just out of the knowledge that I was farming for that, like up until 30 minutes before season of, uh, uh, season of the Undying ended. So it was like, surely I can get a better rapid heal kill clip update. It's like, no, we should, we should get rid of this. Maybe we let that one go, Just Billy Joel. Um, destroy, destroy the painful memories. Uh, okay, so we have three of the Deepstone Crypt hand cannons on the left, fourth row. Um, you have some good rolls on here, but I'm seeing the uh, power levels are all 1260. So it's definitely been a little bit since you've used them. Um, mm -hmm. I personally am not the hugest fan of this gun, but I also just don't really like 180 RPM hand cannons. Um, so like all the rolls that you have are like not terrible. Like that's a, that's a PVP one. I get it. Um, but I need good justifications here as to why we're keeping these, especially if you have nation of beasts already, assuming mm -hmm. you're not a massive stickler for 180 versus 140. Cause to, to me, like. All I need to be happy is just having the element of the gun, right? In case of, of PVE stuff. I'm not a huge stickler in terms of scout rifles. Like, as long as I have a good scout rifle, it's fine. Um, yeah. And now that you say that, this Nation of Beasts is is definitely a good reason to delete this for PvP. Like, mm -hmm. there's always a world in which 180 hand cannons become fantastic, but yeah. I... I mm, Are you I gotta, using gotta, them? Are you using 180 mm -hmm. RPM hand cannons? I'm, I'm going to live that by the philosophy of I shouldn't be living in fear of a time when I might be using them. So, And you know what? You can always get another one. Mm. Always go back and grab a raid team. Be like, hey, let's let's go find this right. thing. Or not even in the raid, just like in general. I'm sure Gunsmith will have one available at some juncture where it's just like, yep, mm. there's one right there. Let me go scoop it up and, and we'll yeah. roll. You know what I mean? Yeah, my justification for so much of this too was like, oh, but I really want to make orbs with this too, I'm realizing. And, mm -hmm. you know, I felt so satisfied having all of this happen. And uh, now we need to see how those orb changes uh, work out, I guess. But yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, let's take a look at these first in last outs, because as far as I'm concerned, there's basically only one, maybe two rolls that most people ever need to worry about here. So auto-loading opening shot, auto-loading Vorpal, you got that one, and auto-loading demo. So I would need to know why you're keeping the auto-loading demo and the uh, the the first one. Uh, the so auto-loading opening is, shot. Uh, this is purely because it's got... Oh, uh, you have fantastic... both. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Um, so... Okay, what does the auto-loading Vorpal one have? The second one? Uh... Uh, the auto loading Vorpal is surrounded. All as right, well. I'm not as crazy about surrounded. That one does have a salt mag, um, but I mm -hmm. feel like you know you could live without that. And then what does this one have? Uh, this is a salt uh, mag auto okay. demo. If I'm you, um, I'm just keeping the auto loading opening shot slash Vorpal, even though it doesn't have a salt mag, because that's going to free up two slots and. The amount of DPS difference you're really going to see with Assault Mag versus not Assault Mag, IMO is not statistically significant enough to justify keeping both. Mm. So I will good. leave that one up to you. Um, the auto-loading demo, I think, can go. Um, and I, I understand, again, this is a rare gun to to get that pristine roll on um but i think at least this one can go yeah looking on reflection also that one's 1250 it, like you haven't touched it in a little while yeah true like yeah on reflection like there is always the thing of like the whole thing of like but 12 back-to-back -back shots with the grenade in the middle using demo but like uh, the more I look at the fact that this also, if surrounded ever really becomes fantastic, has surrounded on it, and like yeah, mm -hmm. this can definitely go. All right, good move. All right, to see. let's let's take a look at these bows here because I think bows are are usually pretty easy to pare down. We got uh, Archer's Tempo Thresh, Archer's Tempo Swash, and Archer's Tempo Wellspring. So um, uh, these are actually uh, not this one, I don't think, but uh. One of these. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I'm about to upset you, I think, because there's more of these out there. I know it. Here they are. Yeah. So there are actually more bows, and some of them, I think, have extra perks here and there. Okay. Well, like Sympathetic this, this Arsenal, one, I'm not wild about, yeah, but... Th yeah, if there's ever one to keep, it is actually this one for me, though, because it's um, the Frenzy Impulse, that, like, 
lowest possible draw time, the mm-hmm. reload master work for all that. Like this is this is good. Sympathetic arsenal, like whatever. But uh yeah, no. Now, I do like yeah. Archer's Tempo, but I don't think we need three of these bows um at all. Mm. Uh if if it's GM time, which bow are you bringing in? Uh definitely this frenzy one here. Okay. Um so then why um, do we have the other ones? Uh, Wellspring Void one, I think, is the compelling one to keep because of okay. the Nezarek Sin build. Okay. Like, uh, you know. Everything You're using Nezarek Sin build in GMs? Uh, yes, when Nova comes to play, but I grant that's actually not that often. And I don't, okay. I don't get that opportunity so much because I tend to be, uh, I tend to be paired with a team that requires me running well. So, like, okay. not all the time. So, I would say then, um... Especially if you're going to be on well, like I don't think well spring or uh, thresh is that important because like you can get your super so fast as a middle tree warlock running phoenix, like to the point where I don't think thresh is even like a, a, a significant factor. Granted, I haven't messed with thresh that much since the super energy changes, um, mm. but. I think one of these somewhere can go. Probably the swashbuckler, because yeah. the odds of getting a melee kill in a GM, pretty oh, low. Mm. And getting this up to five can be a little tough. And even if you do get it up to five, you're probably going to run out of targets pretty shortly after that. So you're not really going to be keeping it around too much. Yeah. Um, and if I'm being really honest with you, I would say delete everything except the one that you're actually using. But I'll leave that up to you. Hmm. Um. Think, yeah. All right. Yeah. No. I've got to. I got to take a long, hard look and okay. decide. Probably like one of these for abilities. Maybe neither. But again, that's uh, that's really dependent on what happens. And I got to see what Wellspring and Thresh feel like on the Nazarax nonsense. But again, like all the more reason of like, am I actually using that? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, these two. I'm not going to delete them, but I am going to unlock them. Yeah. To let them know that like. You know, they're on time watch. Is coming. Yeah, they're on watch. Like, if it bad behavior, thresh go bye bye. Like, yeah, none of this nonsense. Okay, right. let's let's take a look at those eternal uh, blazons on the uh, on the, yeah. Okay, so rabbit head kill group. Okay, good. Um, over the thresh. Okay, and then rabbit head destruction. Okay, and rabbit hit one for all. Okay, so if I'm a GM guy, I'm definitely interested in that rabbit hit one for all. One for all, incredibly easy to proc. Um, and I think people mm-hmm. sleep on it a lot. Disruption Break. With Anti-Barrier Scout, Disruption Break gets a ton of bonus points, right? Yeah. Um, the The issue is I'm not sure what life's going to be like for Anti-Barrier Scouts with Arbalest still being the way that it is, even when um, Particle Deconstruction goes away. So I think for now that's worth keeping, but in Seasons... Uh, where we don't have anti-barrier scout. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of like low on disruption break in general because the amount of shields you're really breaking in a lot of these activities is not that significant to the point where I think you would want or need to use disruption break as a full perk compared to something like one for all. Like think about your average strike and how many shields they probably have. It's not that many. Right. The only real exceptions to that are things like the Corrupted, but the Corrupted is abhorrent in comparison to other strikes and should not be a baseline for right. you know, it's just, it, it's totally different. Yeah. Especially way back in the day. Yeah, so like average strike, and then you look at something like Lake of Shadows, which has like maybe a dozen co- throughout the entire thing. Not even. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, like yeah. And it only has three, three arc shields, right? Um, yeah. So the mm. overthrow overflow thresh I'm not wild about at all. Uh, I would yeah. I would get rid of that one. On reflection, yeah, I can probably remove that. Now the rapid hit kill clip versus the rapid hit one for all. I'm swaying towards one for all more because kill clip, in order to proc, you do need to stop what you're doing and reload. Whereas one for all, you can just keep shooting. You hit three different targets and bam, thirty five percent bonus damage, no effing problem. Um. So I'm much more inclined to take one for all into GMs. That is just me. So, uh, you know, if you want to experiment, that's fine. But I'd be taking the rapid hit one for all. Um, if you wanted to keep on keep this for whatever other reason, I totally get it. Um, yeah. 
It's but the, you know, it's this two hundred archetype in PvP that really like sells me. But it's the same question again. Like, has it been used? Probably not. Yeah. And will scouts ever be a PvP thing? Probably uh, not. Unlike two sixties, sure, but otherwise, I, I'd say it, it commands a very specific play style. Hmm. It's like, and I, I think the other thing is as well. Like, it, it's got to compete with Mitre. You know, like if if you're gonna actually hang with that thing, you gotta actually challenge the king of two mm hundreds. -hmm. Um. All right. Let's let's yeah, let's turn the page. Why not? Um. Okay. Contingency plan in the middle on the right. There you go. Tunnel vision thresh. I don't know what the strat was there. That's it. That's an instant I, delete for me. I don't know what that was from my That's end a either. Insta delete. <laughs> um. Outlaw frenzy. Okay. And yep. then that's another insta delete. For, maybe a PvP Ooh. role if you really want it. Um, so reason f being for this was uh, with elemental capacitor, and if you plop on void and whatnot, that was, if I'm not mistaken, almost max stability. Okay. The only thing that was missing was this masterwork. I haven't used that. That's real nice. Mm, this tunnel vision. Now again, <laughs> uh, how the, often it, are it you using it? <laughs> this is the most painful question. Builds don't um, matter if you're not using the build. Yeah, you're right. Oh god, it kills me too. Um Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one PvP match with that thing at some point later, and if it if it's total garbo, I'm gonna just immediately shred it. Okay. Cause because yeah, the the big the big stability spike mm -hmm. might not be worth it if it's just a load of nonsense. So Okay. Keeping it on watch. Um, Outlaw um, Frenzy and Subsistence one, Subsistence Once for All is another very, very good role, especially in GMs. I mean, subsistence is a little bit weaker in GMs just because it's harder to kill a target, um, but it's still not bad. Um, but then it's like you have to ask, like, okay, you have a Subsistence One for All Arc Scout Rifle, and then you also have that Rapid Hit One for All Scout Rifle. Which one are you going to use? Kind of comes down to personal preference. Um, so that's like another decision you got to make a little bit later on, right? We save those eternal, uh, blazons. And for me personally, um, the difference between using a 200 and using a 260 for the purposes of, I need a scout, an arc scout rifle. Like the archetype doesn't matter to me as much to some other people. It might to me personally, I'm just like, I need a scout and I need it to be arc and that's it. And that's all I care about. Um, mm. So this that would be if you really want to decide, you got to go into a GM. You got to try out both scouts, see which one you like more, see which one is working out more. Um, so that that's a call to make for the future if you want to do that, and especially with yeah, season this, sixteen coming up, you know you can. That's a a reasonable hold. Yeah, there's definitely some redundancy there between. Uh, I think oh, oh yeah, between the eternal blazons and the contingency mm. plans, I see that especially yeah. this one for all subsistence, like really nice in theory, but like. Yeah, I don't know. Like, all things considered, yeah. Uh, if 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 there's a raid encounter or something along those lines, realistically, on things like a day one or points at which a raid is still reasonably hard to do, which I I don't know if those even exist outside of day ones anymore. Like, are we are we are we ever going to be seeing more than like twenty ads per group of two guardians, and therefore how much value is there in something like subsistence versus frenzy? Right. You know, like. Yeah, yep. there's, there's definitely redundancy there. Um, all right, we have three avalanches on the bottom right, right before we go. Surplus Adrenaline. Mm. What's, the, what's the next one? Oh, yeah. Uh, these are all weird because they Vorpal. have double perks, I think. Um, and Killing One Vorpal. Okay. So yeah. I'm not super crazy about Vorpal on machine guns, especially right now while they're just kind of really bad. They also nerfed it. So it's only 10% bonus damage now. And I think if you're using a machine gun on a boss, you have run into trouble. Uh, mm. You're in trouble. So I think we can get this down to one. I would I will leave it up to you which one you want to push. Um, none of these are super remarkable to me. Um, but I don't think Avalanche in general is a super remarkable gun either way. Um Auto loading, mm. I'd keep. Outlawed, maybe keep. Subsistence, I'd maybe keep. And then in the second column, like you got adrenaline junkie, I guess. Maybe swash. I'm not crazy about Vorpal on machine guns anymore, unless they happen to get a massive buff. So, 
pick which yeah. one you're um, thinking about, and then the other two I think can go bye bye. Yeah. Did you say um, dragonfly in that second column, or were you not? Um, I'm I'm not crazy about dragonfly in general. Um, but like it 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 works. I'm just I'm personally not crazy about it. I'm sure there's a ton of dragonfly you know enthusiasts out there who are like no it's the best um but for me personally i want stuff that i know is going to be working all the time i want you know something like frenzy something like swash something like even like a, a vorpal where you're guaranteed that 10 percent bonus damage whereas with dragonfly if enemies are spread out it's it's bad right you it's need clustered yeah. you need clustered up enemies so that's kind of a case by case mm. basis so I think that's a clear get rid of Dragonfly. Pro oh. <laughs> we have another one. <laughs> another one has appeared. I'm just checking across to make sure there isn't okay. like another. <laughs> I think I start, I think I tried doing this at one point, and then it's like, oh yeah, I've only got three of these, and then like another five rows of this nonsense. Um, devils. yeah, even that Zen moment tap the trigger. Like I get like this is a PvP role for sure. Do you need a specifically PvP rolled machine gun? Are ma are oh. most machine guns like generally going to outduel someone in PvP most of the time anyway? Probably not. It's also, also 1250, you only have three kills on it. The light level tells the exact time at which I got that, which was not even this year, it was last year. So like, ooh, goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hmm. So I'll, I'll leave that final decision down to you. Let's let's keep looking here. Um, okay, we have a lot of Zephyrs. A lot of Zephyrs. Oh, look, this one more. <laughs> yeah, so why are we oh, keeping dear. so many Zephyrs? Uh, that is a really good question. Um, I think part of it is not knowing exactly how good some of the perks are in comparison to other things. So okay. Like there's a... Uh, a bunch of the new ones, like Duelist's Trance, that I really don't know about. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, you've got the point of like, ah, it feels good when you play with it. And then it's like, yeah, but like, how how good is it when you sit there and compare it to like Swordmaster's Guard? Right. Like, is this basically just giving a non-Swordmaster's Guard, Swordmaster's Guard? Like, how yeah. good is this? Ho really? Hover over that again, sort of from, uh, give increased charge rate and efficiency and defense until this weapon is stowed. Yeah, um, I, I I think I saw something recently come up where like a certain combination of of sword perks was pretty good. Um, I forget if it's on Reddit or like um, no, it was in my one of my group DMs. Um, but like I, I don't I don't think the average player really cares about that that much. Like the average player would just be like, just keep going with relentless strikes and whirlwind blade because that's what you're using a sword for 99% of the time is just click, 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 click. Um, so I, I feel I like we probably... need purge some stuff here. A lot of these I swords, like... I feel like we can purge. Because, like, the default is Fallen Guillotine. Mm, yeah. If you're not using something over Fallen Guillotine in PvE, why are you hanging on to it? Hmm. Which is the really good question. I think uh, this is. I, I'm going to double check because I, I. I'm sure you know this. Um, Cold Steel doesn't just proc off a powered sword hits, does it? It's like the small sword hits can also start stacking slow until uh, eventually it freezes, right? Um, I have not experimented, um, but I. I think. Uh, I th think so. Because, like, I, I'm sure I've seen a video where it's just a guy hits, um, uh, hits, like, the boss with, like, that three times and is using it just so they can proc their, uh, uh, their focusing lens. On yeah. This. And then not using, needless to say, they're not using heavy strikes back to back. Yeah. Um, All right. So, so if you wanted to keep one to experiment with, I, I get it. But anything without those kind of unique roles, if it's not better than something you're already using, just, mm. just get rid I feel like this one is probably going to go, even though it's got, like, the block of four. I actually want to keep unrelenting on this. That sounds a little crazy, but, like... That's fine. On That's a, fine. Yeah, like, on a sword for certain sections, I, I feel like there's going to be a point at which an ad clear sword with unrelenting is going to be really quite clutch. Now, I am going to completely take this train off the rails here and ask 
why that white piece of armor just popped in. <laughs> um, I've, I've kept a lot of the OG gear from like the beginning of the D1 campaign as like bits and pieces that have sentimentality. Okay, fine. Um, uh, so if I actually pull up my warlock here, like part of the reason why you aren't seeing all of the pieces, particularly for bonds, I've got bonds like fairly cut down, but uh, I keep these on here just to save on space because you know it's a it's a class item. You either you're either going to use it immediately because it's like artificial armor or all the iron burner stuff, or you're going to get rid of it. So you're like, keeping but, yeah. three. 1100 slash zero bonds <laughs> on your character to save space. I mean, when you put it like that, <laughs> it's, it's not great. Um, this is dire, Bife. <laughs> this is dire. This just went from fun thing with the buds to, are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> In all fairness, my other characters are also holding all their white class items. Oh my so like, God. there's no class items in the vault. It's fine. And again, right? just to clarify, you can unlock them with transmog. <laughs> oh, you if know you what? like that is the actually, look. <laughs> that's half the justification for keeping them back in the day. I will admit that that's very much depreciated. Oh man, um, tell you what, what I'm definitely going to go ahead and do, I'll go through and I'll delete anything that is 1100, because okay. on reflection, yeah, that's a little silly. I'll keep the zeros in case there's like, I don't know, some silly situation of, hey, uh, save the blueberries again. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I forget no, um... I forget if you can pull the zeros out of collections, I, I actually don't remember. Um... I think it goes to like the base of 1100, but I don't know. Okay. Like The zeros will never be the thing again, as best I know. Okay. Um, also, I mean, look at look at the rolls, man. Like, come on, can't you can't you can't game. really get one stat roll on on stuff anymore. I I get it. Mm. Um, <laughs> let, let me just see the last two pages here real quick, because I think we're coming uh, up on time here. Yeah, yeah lo okay. So a lot of white gear in here, I feel like is going to be able to get you some space, um, some free space, some very very free space. Um. Mm. Regarding the armor, I don't know why you have certain bits of armor, but I will say, um, first of all, you have five Phoenix Protocols, which is a bit much. Um, I'd say yeah. if you want to have four, one of each element, totally fine. That fifth one, let's figure out what that fifth one is and get rid of it. Yeah, I think this is one of those things of like, I, I threw it into D2 Armor Picker and I was hoping that there would be a good build out of it and still not. Yeah. And then it, it just makes me sad. Which is like, oh, which is fine. Yeah, like it's a good <laughs> roll. But if you already have the armor sets built out already, you know, is it really worth all that time going back in and seeing if it can make it a better build? And then like, oh, I can make a better build, but I gotta switch around 17 different armor sets in order to make it happen. It's like, it's such a pain in the ass for what's going to end up being maybe a, a one or two stat upgrade somewhere that you could probably just mod. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to decide between which of these two. But That's I fine. Feeling, I have a feeling this one is better, all, uh, all things considered. Because okay. it's what, the 84 minus 12, that's what, 72, and then that means this is probably that's a, a 62. 62. Yeah, 62. Yeah. 62 versus 67, and it's spike year on this one. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is probably going to get deleted. But I will I'll say for, for all the people watching out there, just because one piece of armor has higher stats than the other doesn't automatically make it better, right? Because it all mm. depends on the distribution. Right? I would rather have a well-distributed 62 than a poorly distributed 67. Indeed. Um, okay, I got time for like a couple more... Um, I saw a lot of cold fronts, I believe, on the very first page. Yes. Keep going. Uh, yeah, on the on the left boys. and right. Okay, so so that one for me is a delete. That one I don't I mean, like perpetual, perpetual motion that mo that much. Um, mm. I'm not I'm not wild about it, and I'm not wild about under pressure in PVE at all. Um, so that that would be one that I would be getting rid of personally. Although let me take a look at the other ones again. Yeah, I need to also. I, I need to do the thing of like looking um, back and seeing if there's a uh, extraordinary rendition that I've got that's got one for all, mm -hmm. which I don't believe there is. I have the I have the surplus frenzy one, which I mm -hmm. freaking love. But, but do you need yeah. the surplus thresh one? Thirteen uh, hundred. Yeah, you haven't touched it in a little bit. I know it's got a lot of range on it, but still. 
point. Yeah. What was the last time you touched it? Uh, probably the last time you used it. There you go. Yeah. Um, it does get easier. Man. Yeah, look, like, as soon as you get rid of one, you get rid of two. It's like I, you've learned, like, I'm comfortable deleting god rolls or, or rolls that I think are good. But, like, you know, what am I doing with them? Um, I think, what was the yeah. other subsistence one? I think you had a subsistence rampage one as well. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. On reflection, why the hell am I keeping this one when I've got this as well? Mm -hmm. In between. And oh, and you have one for all, too. And one for all. Yeah, now I remember why I was keeping this. Yeah, that's, this is the, yeah, this that's is got a good flexibility. Yeah, I'd, I'd get rid of the, the sub swash one. Yeah. Now, the, uh, the other one... Uh, that is surplus harmony. I am actually keeping for build re reasons. Okay. Harmony and surplus are the perfect pairings on my particular thing for blinding grenade launches. Okay. Because surplus is also handling as well as reload and stability. Mm -hmm. And then harmony is uh, the perfect thing of like, you shoot off a blinding grenade, it maybe gets a kill, blinds a group of adds, and then you just have 20% damage for free. Okay. Like, frenzy can mostly do the same thing, but there are some instances where harmony is just nice to have and harmony doesn't roll on everything so okay i mean i'm not as crazy about harmony um but if you are then you know go for it but at least you have to have your justifications right mm. at least make sure it's justified um that that third one the perpetual motion one uh, i'm, I'm not oh, as yeah, crazy this... about this one uh oh, and this was what like uh perpetual motion rampage or one for all so like I'm gonna double check. Yeah, I'm not as crazy sure. about perpetual motion. I don't know why that game's been doing this. There you go. Yeah, that had the yeah. the un, uh, under pressure one. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you, you need that one. Yeah, you get rid of that. Um, the okay, the seven seraph hand cannons. I have never really yeah. been a huge fan of the seven seraph weapons at all, uh, in general, just because like they're not very good. Um, and the only reason we kept them around is for warbind cells. Seven of which they are now nerfed, and I don't really know anybody using Warmind Cells right now. Uh, so, I, one of these probably should go. Much as it pains me to get rid of something, the more and more I play with other stuff, the more and more I realize that multi-kill clip is only good in theory. And mm -hmm. it, like, sounds great in theory, because it's like, ah, oh, you know, 50% damage buff, that's huge, but, like... Three kills is hard. <laughs> like in, in a GM, yeah, back, especially in a GM itself. situation. Lo lesser situation, like, sure, it's easy, but it's easy with any gun. Mm, right? And so, like, why would you end up using that in the first instance? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. I, th I feel like that makes this a fairly easy choice. Like, Vorpal and Timed Payload, I can see for both types of champions, like, this for Unstop and Overload, this for Barrier. Mm -hmm. And even then, like, there's other hand cannons, and when is barrier hand cannon come along? But, like, this can definitely go. Have we even had anti-barrier hand cannon? We had it in Season of the Undying years ago, and oh. I hold out hope that it will one day come back, because how many people have got the, like, But the is God it fate worth runner? keeping that one gun for an event, <laughs> whereas you could replace that gun with almost any other hand cannon... And probably be okay. You see, that is a very good point, but I'm scared of the time when it does come, and I'm like, oh no, I got rid but, of But thing. you will still have something. That's fine. Champions are not yeah. that big of a deal to kill in GMs. They're really not. Mm. Especially in, in the current age where you're just using the primary weapon to stun something, and then you just blow it up with other guns. This is very true. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no. I'm just trying to remember what... Okay, no, this is... Yeah, this is worth keeping. Okay. Yeah, well, all, all time loss favoring has come with uh, Explosive Firefly, but... Yeah, fr yeah I love explos I, Explosive. Explosive uh, Frenzy is basically what I use in GMs if I'm using a hand cannon, just because it's all completely, completely passive damage boosts. Completely yeah, passive. You don't completely do constant. anything. Yeah. 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 So I'm that's fine. Because I, yeah, I knew I had the Osmosis Firefly thing because this is like the hand cannon synergy, but also mm -hmm. Firefly can create cells. So I was experimenting with that. But yeah. like, this was also another thing worth keeping on top of it. No right. That, which is fine. That's totally fine. But then I have to ask why do we have other Fate Bringers? Hmm. 
So I hear they're good in PvP, and I wasn't sure whether killing or oh, kill clip was the way to go, or whether killing window opening shot was the way to go. Okay. Um, well, I'd say get in there, shoot the gun around a little bit, see which one you like more, and then get rid of one. And what's that? What's that mm. non time lost fate bringer that you have at the front? Oh, uh, this, osmosis this ge- adrenaline junkie. Yeah, for that pure grenade spam nonsense, which on a warlock, it's not impossible. In fact, it's pretty reasonable nowadays like um hmm. if you're using fire bolts on the middle tree solar and you proc benevolent dawn by having a guy stand in a rift even like for a second you can get those fire bolts to regenerate with tier 8 discipline which is what i run in eight seconds okay how often ridiculous. are you doing that like in gms actually all the time okay. so like yeah then i want to see this fate bringer of- two seasons from now with way more than zero kills on it I will make that my mission. All I right. will make that my mission to use that in a build. All right. Um, I got time for like one more. So if you have something you want me to take a look at, let's take a look at it. Um, bruh, this is a good question. Um, you have a lot of shotguns on that front page, but I'm, I'll, I'll leave the choice up to you. Uh, yeah, sure. Screw it. Let's look at the shotguns. Because right. I've got like... I've got the two lead from gold, one lead from gold trench, one lead from gold demo. I've got slide opening and surplus opening. Okay, so the so like, a surplus, that I yeah, use. surplus or versus slide shot, opening shot. One of these has a thousand kills on it, and the other one has four. Um, that mm. is a very good roll. Don't get me wrong, very good roll. Which one do you prefer? I have a feeling that it is. Clearly this one, but also it's one of those moments of I, I'm terrified of the PvP thing of, like, I actually end up using shotguns, and mm-hmm. if I throw away the slide shot, opening shot, am I ever going to get it again? I will say that I would probably be using this one over the surplus one. I like I just don't like surplus. I think it's kind of mid. Um, so, like, me personally, I'm using the other one, but I get that this has a lot of kills on it. Clearly you like using it to some degree. Um, but I'd be using the other one. Yeah, just, like, I don't like having fully charged abilities. Like, I should, like, I want to be using my abilities all the time. And if I'm using my abilities all the time, I'm not going to have surplus. Yeah, where, you know, that's kind of the big difference on Warlock's thing. And ho- the, hover you know, over, um, yeah. Assault Mag real quick. Um, stability and rate of fire. So you're getting, like, 5 RPM increase. Which, in the grand scheme of PvP, I don't really feel like that matters that much. Um, yeah, I'd probably be rolling with the slide shot one, given how good sliding still very much is, and you have the range mass work, and you have accurized. Um, this is probably the one I'd keep. I, I don't. I again, I'm not like PvP shotgun lord, so I, I might be getting yelled at in the comments for incorrect information, but I'd probably be hanging on to this one. Mm. I'm trying to remember what surplus used to be on this because, like, just with fell winters, they replaced something on these. I don't probably think quick draw. Have been... Yeah, you know mm, that was absolutely what this was because this was originally quick draw okay. with uh, all of these, which back in the day I think was part of the reason why my PvP kills were actually as high as they were. Right, and like I'm, you know, again, I'm not a huge PvPer, but like 850 kills, you know, it's quite a bit on my front of things. Mm-hmm. So like. That makes some sense as to why that makes that got used. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for what the like best choice is. Okay. On PvP ones, and I'm gonna figure that out. And then the PVE like, ones, yeah. we have lead from gold trench and lead from gold demo. Shotguns in PVE are just so tough because like I want to like them, but they've never really been good in high level content, uh, or rather in GM content. Uh, they've definitely had their moments here and there. I'm swaying towards the trench barrel one. Um, I'm I'm not crazy about demo on on the shotgun. Uh, I know it's got good range perks, but like using a shotgun in PVE is much more flexible. You don't really have to worry as much about maximum range. Um, I'd be taking the trench barrel one, and then I'd also keep probably like one shotgun that has one two punch in case you ever want to ever want to do a one two punch build. I have a one two punch build that I use quite frequently. Um, uh, where is it? I I know I've got one of those around. I think it's on your found verdict, uh, which will be on the 
bottom middle on page five. Ah, six. Oh no, where is it? Oh, maybe oh, it's shifted because we deleted stuff. It's mm, yeah, it has shifted. Okay, go go back. Um, oh, they're on the the la left and right side now. Oh yeah, yeah, they're split. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, wee woo one two punch, one, two. and uh, yeah, I, I, I think I, it's totally I, fine. I'm to so glad. I'm so, I'm so glad I'm not the only person who's done that all the time. With the wee woo rounds. Yeah, the wee woo. Yeah, we wind rounds is oh god. Anyway, yeah, I just call them wee woo yeah. rounds. It's um, not worth it, right? And then what was the other one? Rewind, uh, Vorpal. Rewind Vorpal. Yeah, it's just yeah. like we we haven't really been in a meta where shotguns are the go-to for like GM or master content, which just makes it so hard to justify. And like, unless some really big changes come along that make them viable, I just don't think they're naturally going to become a viable top completely top end choice at least for the average person i'm sure like omega god tier players will be able to make something work but then it's like it, the average player is not going to go through all that effort to to make it work unless it's just so absolutely nuts which i don't really foresee happening hmm. and then you know there's also the point of like if we're using a vorpal uh shotgun as the example do we really need Vorpal found verdict when Vorpal first in lost out? Correct. Exists. Yeah. Okay. This is this this one goes. This one's going. We'll, we'll hold on to the one two. One two punch, punch is fine. Is fine to hold on to. Um, for one two punch builds again. I, but that's you know also personal preference. If you're not using a one two punch build, you uh, you're never going to need it. Um, mm. I use it, so I keep it. Um, but other people, you don't need it. Let's go back to the original, the uh, Astral Horizons. Um, uh, front, front oh, page. Bad boys. Yeah. Mm. So I uh, personally, I can get rid of the demo one. I don't even like. This is thirteen hundred, so you definitely haven't used it in a little bit. Um, and it's a PVE roll. If I've ever seen a PVE roll, so demo versus trench. What are you doing? And you know, pick one and get rid of the other. Yeah, it's one. It's definitely one of those warlock quirks, mm -hmm. and also like experimentation with the. Uh, with the double special builds where lead from gold can really help out. Mm -hmm. But it's also one of those things of like, those are going to be a little bit more niche than I might like. I'm going to def, okay. We're going to do the same. We're going to do the same compromise. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to let both of these know that one of them okay. is going, so to speak. They are unlocked and I will get rid of one of them. I want to see you. We got you down to 449. I, I would have liked to have seen a bit more, but I do want to see an update uh with you in the next couple of weeks or at least before witch queen i want to see this start to get around 400 mm. i think that's that's your goal is let's get you down to about 400 let's clear out some of those white items those are going to be very easy points but then mm -hmm. let's start making some tougher decisions yeah getting rid of all the stuff that creates redundancy making sure that i'm not being too precious about something that's probably not going to get used right exactly just it's yeah like the zen, the zen cause... moment i in the storm trusty it's 1250 <laughs> when are you using this <laughs> uh, that's a really good question and uh oh god i know you haven't really... i know oh. you haven't used it i know you haven't i can tell i can sniff it out <laughs> you are completely correct. I'm completely guilty as charged. Like that's I've never touched it. I was like, oh good, that'll be for PvP. Threw it in the vault and forgot. Ever it. touched it again. Exactly. Nope. It's oh god. But that's okay, this is, I, I think you've said this so many times whenever you've been cleaning someone else's vault and helping them out with them, like that's liberating though. Because you know, like there was always that like sticking justification for some things like that where it's like uh, but what about the PvP thing? It's like, no, s screw the PvP thing. Yeah. Screw being that precious. Like, get rid of it. And you probably like, have a replacement for it anyway. Like, if you have this many items in your vault, right? And then that feeling is very liberating, and you want to keep that feeling going, and then you want to delete more things until all of a sudden you're at 300 out of 500, and you're out on the street, you know, looking to delete other people's items for them. I'm it's actually a very thing. tragic story, and I, I wish everybody uh, <laughs> luck in their recovery from addiction. 
Um, I'm going to do one thing okay. just to uh, j just to earn some extra brownie points and just because I know that you absolutely hate it. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a jade rabbit here. With 1100. Which, used, which 1100 has a few kills and I used and I got the catalyst on and basically threw it back in the vault and only ever pulled it out once in a blue moon for PvP. And just because I know that you despise this and because it's one of those things of like, how often is it actually used? Easiest vault space of your life. Yes, absolutely. And that goes for everybody else out there, too. If, if you're not a YouTuber, you don't need to hang on to every single exotic. You really don't. Like Borealis. Average person need to hang on to Borealis? No. Yeah, not at all. Not even you, you really don't. Average person does not need to hang on to Borealis. You can get rid of it. If you're not using the exotic, you don't need to have it in your vault. You can always pull it right back out and and immediately just like go do any activity, get 17,000 blues and just infuse it up to a, a usable level. Mm. Boom. It's gone. Even deleted it from my vault. So It's all good. I'm getting rid of it. Yeah. There you go. And uh, you, keeping kill counts, I get it. That's fine, but make sure it's a, a worthy enough kill count. You know, let's let's get in the thousands there. If it's anything under a thousand IMO, you don't even need to to worry about it. All right, bud, I gotta go. Dado, thank you so much for jumping in. And this giving was me fun. Hand. Uh, I'm so I'm so glad, and I'm so sorry that I exposed you to this much shiny garbage. Um, I, I mean, look, I just I will be able to clean it up. I just hope my raid teammate. Uh, sneaky, who literally only has masterworked items. Like, they didn't have a single unmasterworked item. How many cores did you end up getting back? Let's see. I think you were oh, like 160 good. something, 180 something. A, so we got you about, uh, uh, I was a, we almost doubled your, your enhancement core stock. Yeah, that's like 100 cores right there. Easy. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, so that's nice. Too. I think you can get way, way more cores. Don't masterwork every single thing that you get. Just lock it. Like that that gets the point across I uh, in my opinion. And then otherwise, just let's just start making some decisions. Let's just start making some calls and be like, am I touching this? No. Am I using this? No. Um do I have a replacement for this? Yes. Make a couple of lists here and there like okay, here's a list of all my snipers, PvE, PvP, what am I using PvE? What am I using PvP? Get it down to 3 or 4 total snipers. And then we move on to the next thing. Mm. Yeah. But I want to see and around 400 before uh, before Witch Queen. I'll, I'll, I'll do the thing. I'll make an update. I'll throw it at the start of a video and I'll be like, All right. behold, it is possible. You can recover. Good. Dado, again, thank you so much for jumping in. Uh, if anyone has not checked out Dado's stuff, go ahead, do all the typical stuff. Subscribe. How have you not done this? We, like, both of us have been in Destiny nonsense. Literally, like, decade. since the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, literally remember sitting in the apartment like eight years ago both of us making destiny videos mm -hmm. jesus oh long time uh but yeah much love dude thank you so love much you, for coming on and helping me clear my vault of course i will let you get going all right take care bud you too